From the Arkansas Storm Team, weather to plan your day with meteorologist Carmen Rose. Happy St. Patrick's Day, 740 on your Wednesday, a very cloudy view through our tower cam. No storms at this very second in Little Rock, but we will start to see those storms pick up. I'd say closer to 9 a.m. here in the capital city. It is warm for this time of year, this time of day, 64 degrees. Our dew point into the upper 50s. This is a great measure of how much moisture is in our environment, and we have plenty. We also have plenty of warmth, so that's going to fuel these storms that we are already starting to see across the state. So we have a severe thunderstorm warning now into southwest Arkansas with that line of strong two severe storms moving up from Texas. We also have some of those stronger storms, heavy rain, potentially some hail closer to Jonesboro as well as Helena, West Helena. So I want to zoom in on to that severe thunderstorm warning. That is until 8.30 a.m. Central Time. Uh, that includes just outside of Centerville. Texarkana, Hope probably is under this as well. All of that red, lots of lightning associated with that. That red polygon is actually a tornado warning. So some of these storms could actually produce a little bit of rotation. If that's the case, we will see a tornado warm storm within this. Hail and damaging wind uh, with that line of storms is going to be likely. And that's moving into southwest Arkansas and ultimately heading our way to Little Rock. We do have some of that heavy rain, possibly some more hail uh, to the north of Cabot between Searcy. You're probably hearing some of that thunder. Brinkley, Stuttgart also dealing with that heavy rain. And then, of course, up into Pocahontas, into northeast Arkansas, Cherokee Village. We had some reports of some penny size hail or I should say closer to dime size hail over there. A severe thunderstorm watch is in effect until 10 a.m. for southwest Arkansas due to those severe storms moving through. We already have that severe thunderstorm warning for Texarkana. It is possible this watch actually gets extended a little bit farther north and east, maybe to include Arkadelphia, perhaps even Little Rock. So we're going to update you if that ends up being the case. We have a tornado watch for everything in yellow. This is just outside Pulaski County for us in Little Rock. It includes Pine Bluff, Helena, Helena, West Helena, Forest City, and that is until 1 p.m. this afternoon. Today's forecast, we're going to be into those low 70s. It will be stormy. That first round moving through this morning, a second round probably after lunchtime. So here's that line we're talking about moving out of Oklahoma and Texas. What's moving out of Texas is stronger than what's moving out of Oklahoma. So Fayetteville, Fort Smith not really dealing with the same amount of strength of storms that we will be dealing with in southwest and central Arkansas. Look at 9 a.m. There's that line. It's going to be heavy rain, lightning, thunder, hail, wind, and yes, the possibility of a few tornadoes out there. Fast forward to lunchtime, noon. It is possible that we get a little bit of a lull in activity, especially into north and west Arkansas, but we only need one cell to produce something strong too severe. That will continue to uptick by 3 o'clock. So I do think those early afternoon hours, that's when we'll start to see that move through by five o'clock. Most of that will be cleared here in Little Rock and West Arkansas. And then ultimately by eight o'clock, this severe weather threat should be out of here tonight. 47 degrees, breezy, much cooler. So this just shows you how strong that front is moving through. We go from the 70s today to the 40s tonight, 50s tomorrow. Fortunately, though, we will at least have some sunshine mixed in with those clouds tomorrow with more sun Friday into the weekend and the start of spring on Saturday. Ashley. Thanks.